What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Angway X24 and we're going to review it. Let's get started. As always, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out that link down below for the Angway X24. If Angway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. The Angway X24 Folding Electric Bicycle retails for $17.99. The frame is made out of 6061 aluminum alloy. The tire size are a 24 by 4 inch Chow Yangs, and the motor is a 1000 watt motor with an 1800 watt peak with 70 newton meters of torque. The Angway X24 Folding Fat Tire Bike comes with two 48 volt batteries. The one down here under the seat is a 19.2 amp hour lithium ion battery. Battery number two is a 48 volt 10 amp hour lithium ion battery. They claim to have a top speed of 31 miles an hour with a mileage of up to 62 miles. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in the eco mode. The brakes are a hydraulic disc brake. It has a Shimano 8 gear derailleur. The bike weighs 92.3 pounds with a gross weight of 108.7 pounds. It has the maximum payload of 330 pounds. We're also equipped with this little rear rack pad. I'm guessing you can just strap stuff on top of there. We also have a double suspension on the rear, a suspension here in the middle, and a front fork adjustable suspension with preload and compression. We also have a quarter twist thumb throttle on the left. We have a front headlight and a rear tail light. And we also have a nice color display up here. And we also have 170 millimeter crank arms. We also have a regular bicycle saddle. This thing's actually really comfortable to sit on. I'm gonna show you guys how this bike folds up. For me, it's really not the easiest, but... Pretty much just like that. And this is how you remove the battery. It's actually pretty, pretty simple. Boom, just like that. And that's the battery in the down tube. And to get the battery underneath the seat, you just get this little key, give it a little turn, that pops up, unhook that, and you pull straight up on the battery. Right now I have this tightened up so it's nice and tight so the battery won't come out. All right, guys, let's get this speed test started now. We are at a full 54.6 volt charge. We're gonna get this bike powered on. Get that out of there. And we're going to start off in mode five. Once we get the top speed on mode five, we'll hit the boost button. We're going to see what the top speed on this thing is. All right, the takeoff is really slow, but it does feel pretty smooth. Let's see, 19 miles an hour. Suspension on the rear definitely feels really stiff. The middle suspension, I really don't feel bouncing around or anything right now. The front feels nice and bouncy though. I'm guessing 25.4 is going to be our top speed on this. So let's go into boost mode. You hit that information button. And we are in sport mode. Let's go. 24 miles an hour. 25. 26. Now we're going faster. There we go. 27. Come on, 28. Come on, 29. We're almost running out of road. Come on. 29.3. 29.4 Sport mode is still on 29 Looks like sport mode is 29.5 mile an hour top speed on this bike Let's do mode 4 speed test Throttle only 16.9 on mode 4 Let's go mode 3 Looks to be about 12 miles an hour mode 3 Alright let's go into mode 2 8.2 for mode 2 Let's check mode 1 Are you guys ready for mode 1? This is like a walk-in mode almost, about 4.6 miles an hour. I have no idea how long it keeps the sport mode away from you after you use it, but I still can't go into it. It keeps on putting me in eco mode. All right, let's test a little bit of grass riding in this like makeshift ditch, <laughs> half pipe ditch. Oh. oh man, that rear suspension is pretty stiff, guys. I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> Should we hit a jump? Whoa, that was crazy. I had the compression locked out. <laughs> Much better. A little curb hop. Oh yeah, it felt solid, that's crazy. It's crazy a folding bike can feel solid. I always think like, they're all gonna be janky and loose everywhere, but the X24 definitely feels very solid. 
Seems like the speedometer is pretty close. Yo, Shreddy, can you wheelie this thing? <laughs> no, sorry guys. I cannot wheelie the X24. We got to do a quick brake test at 20 miles an hour. Oh yeah, those tires are like super grippy. I can smell the rubber from there. As always, a beautiful Nat Geo. It's where e-bikes can take you guys. All right, guys, we're going to try one more speed test to see if we can get past 30 miles an hour. All right, looks like we hit 31.3 miles an hour on that run. You guys know this is not a shreddy video unless we test out some riding through the grass. All right, let me sit down. Yeah, so definitely super stiff suspension. And I did check with my shock pump. It had no air on the rear suspension at all. I really don't think you can make the rear suspension any softer than what it is. All right, this is a pretty steep hill. So we're gonna see if we can go straight up this hill in mode five. No, it's struggling. Sport mode, all right, come on. Nothing, how about pedaling, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Jeez, this is really hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the torque isn't too, too crazy. Come on, 32, let's go. Oh, I hit 32. Got a new top speed of 32 miles an hour. We always gotta test out these stairs for the suspension test. <laughs> so here we go. Please don't break. Oh God. <laughs> oh, 32.6. Now with a new top speed there. I do wish this bike had a little bit more torque than we have. 1800 watts should be pushing a little more torque than this. But the fat tires definitely handle it. One more suspension test. I'm gonna do it with the biscuits up and then down. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Biscuits are down. Jeez, oh. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That was a biscuit burner right there. Let's check the gravel riding. Ooh. Oh yeah. These fat tires definitely crush through the gravel. So this bike is powered by cadence sensor. So once you start pedaling, it'll pedal up to whatever speed that mode is set to. All right, 24 mile an hour, brake check. <laughs> wow, we slid pretty far on that one. I'm kind of wondering why they made such a big bike a folding bike, because we were having a hard time trying to figure out how to put it in our Honda Accord. So we couldn't fit it in a Honda Accord. Maybe it's easier to put it in some kind of a hatchback car. Just let me know if you guys have the Engway X series or the X24. And let me know how you guys take it with you onto rides. Do you guys fold it up or do you guys stick it on a bike rack? <laughs> Little hill test, I guess. <laughs> we gotta see if this e-bike can jump. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, that was an awesome jump. Let me know what you guys thought about the Engway X24 down in the comments. And as always, if you guys wanna support the channel, check out all those links down below. Check out that link down below for the Engway X24. If Engway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next ride. 16 miles down to 76% battery. It's not like a Cadillac. <laughs>